Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. In this video, we will discuss the second problem of lead code by weekly contest uh, 91. Uh, it's a medium level problem, relatively better than the other second level problem that you get into the lead code contest. So yeah, good one, I would say. Um, so the problem name is count ways to build good strings. So given the integers 0, 1, low and high, we can construct a string by starting with an empty string and then at each step perform either of the following. Okay. What are those operations? Append the character 0, 0 times or append the character 1, 1 times. Okay. This can be performed any number of times. Now, what is a good string? A good string is a string constructed by the above process having a length between low and high. Inclusive. Return the number of different good strings that can be constructing, uh, constructed satisfying these properties. Now, since the answer can be, can be large, return it modulo. 10 raised to the power 9 uh, plus 7 right uh, so yeah this is the problem and th there are certain examples given so let's directly jump into the explanation part okay so the problem says that you are given some numbers right let's call it 0 okay then 1 then low then high you start you start with an empty string okay and then at e at every operation what you can do you can append zero number of zeros in that string or one number of ones in that string like for example you can st you start with an empty string and I i'll just take some examples okay so you can do these two operations we'll see okay and then what we what you need to do you need to you need to tell that whatever strings that are formed how many of them are good okay you form certain strings right by performing either of these two operations and then what is what is the definition of a good string now a good string is basically that using these processes that are mentioned you construct a string whose length is l uh, between this that means length is less this low and high okay length is greater than or equal to low and less than or equals to high this is what so using this process you construct some strings Whichever string have satisfied this property that the length of this string is between low and high. That is a good string. You need to tell how many good strings are there. Okay. So, obviously inclusive of low, low and high I have already showed you. Okay. So, like one of the examples is low equals to 3, high equals to 3, 0 equals to 1, 1 equals to 1. So, you start with an empty string. What are the strings that you can form? So, you can either up, yeah, append a 0. So you append a zero. Now at next step again you can append a zero. Next next step again you can append a zero. Similarly you start with zero. You can append a one. You can append a zero. You can then you can either append a zero and then one and so on. Right? There are multiple possibilities. So just see what is the length of this string? It is three. It is three. Right? So just see there are certain others the other strings that uh, you can form as well. Right? Like for example you can simply form zero. Now just see, this is not a good string. Why? Because the length of this string is just 1. And the length of this string should be equals to 3. Greater than or equal to 3, less than or equal to 3. That means equals to 3 only, right? Because low and high are same here. So this is what you need to do. So if, if you guys are familiar with <laughs> dynamic programming, then this is a trivial dynamic programming problem. Okay. Generally, you get these type of problems as part of the third question. But yeah, we got it uh, in the form of second question in the contest, right? So, if, if you're not familiar with DP, okay, that's perfectly fine. I'll, I'll just tell you what, what is the intuition behind this, okay? Uh, that is more important. So, suppose that there are certain strings, okay? Um, so, here length matters, right? Based on what, what is the length of the string, it could be a good string or a bad string, right? So, suppose uh, for length L, for length equals to L, or let's take length equals to 5 okay for length equals to 5 i know how many strings are there okay how many strings are there for length equals to 5 forget about good or bad now now if i have certain strings of length 5 what are the possible value what what are the possibilities of process that i can perform so let's pick any string of length equals to 5 suppose 0 1 0 1 0 okay suppose what are the things that you can perform Either you can, just a second, yeah, either you can append z number of zeros or z zeros and ones, right? So this number of zeros or this number of ones, right? So 
वन जीरो और वन वन ओके सो यू कैन इधर अपेंड अ वन हेयर और यू कैन अपेंड अ जीरो हेयर ओके सो दैट मीन्स फॉर लेंथ इफ आई नो अ पर्टिकुलर लेंथ ओके देन इफ आई अपेंड फॉर लेंथ I if I want to calculate the answer for length equals to l, so what I do? I check for l minus z. Why? I want the answer for l, and if I if the last operation that I performed was appending of z, zero number of zeros, right? This is what z represents. Then it is basically dependent on the number of strings that ended with l minus z, right? Of length l minus z. This is what these string things, right? because suppose i i i know how many strings are there of length equals to 3 so either i can append suppose uh, z equals to 2 and 1 equals to 3 so either i can append two zeros or three ones these are the two operations so if i append two zeros so the length becomes 5 if i append three ones so the length becomes 6 right these are the three things so if i want to calculate the answer for l equals to 6 so what i do I simply do. In how many ways can I get length equals to six? So in how many ways I can get? So if length equals to six, then the possible operations that I would have performed was either I would have appended three ones because it is written here. Either I would have appended three ones in 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 strings of length equals to three, or what I have I would have done, I would have appended two zeros, two zeros in the string of length equals to four. This is four. and this is two right so this is the basic intuition behind this so what what we will do we'll keep on calculating that for for every length what are the possibilities now the question comes how do we calculate it so whatever i have told you that is the method to calculate simple so how many strings you have of length equals to 0 right this this will be your base case you will start from you will start from i equals to 1 to a random number i have chosen here 10 raised to power 5 because the limit goes to 10 raised to power 5 you can also choose to high that is perfectly fine again this was a contest so i i just wrote it right now what what you do you check i want to find the answer for uh, i right so how can i get length i i can get it by appending zero number of zeros in a string of length i minus 0 right so if i minus z is greater than 0 greater than equal to 0 so i consider this similarly if i minus 1 is greater than equal to 0 i consider it right so let's go to the code so just see this is the mod that i need to take this is the uh, array where i'll be storing my answer i start with a base case okay then for i equals to 1 and for these things i'll be calculating my answer So if i minus zero is greater than or equal to zero, so for the current string, my answer will also consider the strings ending with i minus zero or the length of those strings whose length were i minus zero. Similarly, if i minus one is greater than zero, so I will also consider the string of length i minus one. So this is and I'll take a mod. I'll keep on doing this for all the things. Now finally, to calculate my answer, what I can do for uh, for i equals to low i less than equal to high i a plus plus answer plus equals to dp of i because these are the good strings and finally i return that answer right so this is what i have done in in this problem i hope this was clear uh, in case you have any queries do mention that into the comments i'll i'll try to revert on each one of them if you guys are new with dynamic pro programming you can start with certain basic problems because again this is this was a good problem i i just said it is a trivial one because folks familiar with dp will be able to understand the logic otherwise uh, having some basic knowledge will be very very helpful yet yeah? right so yeah if you like this video do 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 support it by giving up a thumbs up also do subscribe to the channel uh, and do mention uh, any queries in the comment i'll i'll revert on each one of them thank you take care bye bye